All vertices have an even balance. All right. When I say it's even balance, that means it has an even number of edges attached at that vertex. So if you count an even number of lines at that vertex, that vertex has an even balance. What's the other thing we need? What's the other thing we need? It's got to be a connected graph. It can't be a disconnected graph. You got to be able to get from one vertex to every other vertex in the graph. Oh, you want me to take that picture for you? That's so. Actually, yeah. Really? Yeah. You're serious? Yes. Boy, I'm in trouble. All right, let's get back at it. No, I need that. So it has to be a connected graph. Oh my gosh, it was hilarious. <laughs> connected graph. If you don't have those two things, guys, there's no other circuit in that graph. That's why we started talking about Eulerizing graphs this week. If you've got a graph that has one vertex with an odd balance, we got another. We got another way to do it. We got. We got. We got a tool to fix that. And that's what we're doing today. That's what we're doing today. So you guys want to see an example? Or you guys want to try it for ten minutes, and then I can go up, I can come up here and, and, and show you. Okay. Let, let me let, let me let me let me explain the process. So you, you look at the graph, and you decide what the valence of every vertice is. Write it, write it in there. And if there is a vertex that has one that has an odd balance in the graph, if you have one vertex that has an odd balance in the graph, there's no other circuit. Identify it by, by, by coloring it. Then count how many odd vertices there are in that graph. All right? First step, when there's no other circuit, you identify all the odd valence vertices. Now you got to pair them up. You got to pair up those vertices with one another. And you got to look at that connectivity. You got to highlight which edges are we going to reuse? Which edges are we going to reuse? That we're going to travel twice on? You by pairing them up. I didn't do anything. And then put those arrowheads, highlight those reused <coughs> edges, put put those back and forth arrowheads on there that go back and forth. And then you gotta decide where you're gonna start your circuit. It's not an Euler circuit, it's an Eulerized graph that you can find a circuit now by reusing yeah, those repeated edges. So then you gotta create a directed graph like we did like we did here, like we've been doing all week. A directed graph contains the numbers in the order of the edges that you're traveling around the graph, plus they've got arrows indicating direction. You guys should all be at that point that you know how to do that. So if you have a graph that has another circuit, just all you gotta do is, is, is show me the directed graph through that through that circuit, or throw me the other circuit through that graph. If not, then you got something to do. You got to highlight the vertices that have an odd balance. You got to pair up those odd balance vertices, and then you got to identify the connected edges you're going to reuse, and then put those arrowheads on there, and then find me that other circuit. Create a directed graph with numbers and arrows so that we can get through there. Make sense? So now what's your decision? You want me to show you one? Yeah? Who, 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 wants, who wants to see one? Who wants to see the first one? Who wants to see A? I want to see A. All right. Let's look at it. Let's look at it here. So first of all, Any vertices that have an odd number of edges connected to it? Because that's what balance means. <coughs> you definitely would, though. Kalidee, do I have anything? Do I have anything that's got an odd balance up here? Um, 
Yeah. Maybe maybe we need to do a first step, right? That point right there. That point right there. And I don't know where she's talking. I don't know where she's pointing. So I'm going to put I'm going to put some letters up here at my vertices. So then we can have a conversation about it. So there's I did I did it again. I did it again. A B C D E F G. You see now? You guys have the vocabulary. You can talk to me and communicate what's going on in the graph. Without that, it's it's like crazy. So A has odd edges there. So it's got an odd balance. What else, what other any others? That's the only one. G G has an odd balance. Where do you think, Garrett? Uh, what? What's the question? Any vertices on the graph that were that on the handout that have an odd balance? C. C has an odd balance. Is that it, Garrett? Is that it, sweet? Yes. Is that it, Abigail? F. F does too? It does, it does, it does. So you tell me all the other ones are even. You sure about that? We missed you yesterday. We missed you yesterday. You with us? Yeah. So all the other ones are even, right? E has got four. That's even. B has got four. What about D? D got four? D has got six. That's even. So we've, we've covered them. We've identified all the vertices that have an odd balance. So now we count. How many odd number vertices? Well, there's four. There's four. So write that down. How many even? One, two, three. There's four. No, did I do that right? There's three. Because there's seven total. So this should add up to your total vertices. We did this right. All right, you guys ready? Yes, sir. Come on. Well, I'm, well, I'm ready. Get, 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 the, get the colored pencils out. Write this down. What page is this? We're, this is the handout. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? <laughs> we've, been what, we've been in class for 20 <laughs> minutes. 20 minutes you know, what a goofball you are. I need, you, I need, more, I need more of your attention here. So <coughs> now pair up the odd balance vertices. Okay, so A, you guys see A and C share an edge? Yeah. So that is how I'm going to pair them up, A with C, A with C. You guys see that, that G and F share an edge? Yeah. We're going we're gonna to double up on that edge. These are repeated edges. The green highlight, <laughs> that, those are repeated edges. So now this is the next step. I'm going to put those double arrowheads in because we're going back and forth down there so that we can create a circuit. All right, next step. Decide what vertex you're going to start at. I would suggest you start at the vertex that has the most edges at it. Which one is that? That's it. That's, that's D. You guys see D? It's got how many edges, Garrett? Three. No? Six. D. Why are you listening to him? He's trying to set you up for the fall. He's setting you up for a big fall. Come on, yeah, there's six. I'm thinking about hockey right now, all right? Yeah? So I'm going to start at D. We're going to start right here. You guys ready? Yeah. So I'm going to go down to G. That's one. I'm doing a directed graph now. I'm right here. I can go back and forth to F. That's two up to F, three back to G. Down here, up and back. Then I'm going to go up to E. That's four. So one, two, three, four. Back down to F. The, 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 the vertices are, are lettered, not numbered. So now, oh, oh I see. That's five. Yeah, yeah, you, you got this. I, I know. He's catching on. I'm catching on. Then where am I going to go, sweet? You're going to go uh, up to D. That's right, because I've already yeah. traveled this one. That's yes, my reused yeah. edge. You will not reuse an edge three times or two times and for a total of three trips on an edge. You just reuse it once so that you travel on it twice, not any more than that. So I haven't traveled this one up to D, so I go for it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head up there. 
Let me make this slightly bigger. D. Now I'm at D. What are we going to do? What am I going to do, Garrett? You're going to B. I'm going to go to, I'm going up to B? Yeah. What about this edge, though? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Go I'm going to miss that one. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah, a, yeah. It's like you got to have. You go down there, and then you go back up to B. All right, there you go. I like it. So now I'm down here. It makes sense for me to go up to B because that's the only one I can take. Now what? Where would you go, Roxana? Where would you go from here? Um, yeah. <coughs> down to D? Yeah, you could do that. Let's go down to D. That's nine. Now where are we going to go? Adrian, where are we going to go next? So we're at D right now. Where would, where would you go? Up to C? Is that what you want to do, Abigail? Is she that okay, Adrian? She just stole your moment. You're okay with that? All right. Your moment of fame that you've waited so long for slipped right between your fingers. So now I'm up at C. What am I going to do? I'm going to go up to B. All right. I could do the down and back, but I can also go to B. You guys see that's an option. I'm going to go to B. You're telling me where to go. Now, what happens at B? That's the only edge we haven't used. At some point, the graph tells you where to go. All right? It's starting it and getting through it about midway that it's kind of like, oh, what do I do? You, you just make a decision at every vertex. Make a decision which turn you're going to take through the neighborhood. All right? So now the logical way is to go to A because we have not been there. And so that's edge 12. Now what? So I'm going to go down to D? No, go back, go down to C yeah, I just burned a bridge. I, I missed this portion. So I got to go with the down and back to C, that reused edge. So I'm going to go down to C, that's 13. 14 back to A. Now what? Now I'm going to finish it. I'm going down to D, guys, and that's one of probably a hundred or so solutions. Because you can start at a different vertex. You can choose your path, whatever you want. You see, Garrett wanted to weave and wind. I'll do, I'll do that strategy next, the weave and wind strategy. Um, it, it's, it's a strategy, but it, it gets really crazy. It gets really crazy. Questions on this? Yeah. That's direction. That's a, these, we created a directed graph. So these, it's just, it's just a narrow direction of which way we're traveling. And because these are, these link are odd valence vertices. Yeah. So like, how do you know? So those you can repeat, right? Yep, we're going to repeat that edge. How do you know if you can that's a good question. How do we know whether we're going to repeat an edge or not? You identify which vertices have an odd valence, and then, <coughs> Roxana, you, you pair them up. You pair them up, and then see, that has a valence of three, that has a valence of three, they're both odd. They share this edge. So it's obvious. Because that's how many edges there are there. One, two, three. That's how many edges there are. Valence, three is how many edges? Okay, what else? She gets the question prize of the day. Some good questions, some good questions. Guys, if you don't get it, you stop me. You guys ask good questions. You guys know stuff. You're intelligent. If you, if, it's like you just missed the boat. If you just missed the concept because you were absent a day. Well, we can get you back in the bus. We can, we can get you back in the bus, back on the boat. And make it happen, okay? No, sir. All right. Anybody else? Tiffany, you on this? You got this? Any other questions? Kelsey, you've been a, gone a couple days. You okay? Sanchez, where are you at? So, so get into this. Try. Try the next one. I'll let you work for. I will. I'll let you work for for five minutes. And then I'll answer questions for you. I got to do attendance, and I got to. Nobody put their phones up. Nobody's got it charging. Okay. Because uh, the phone list is over there. Remember, you guys, if you guys put your phone up in the pouch, I'll give you a point a day, up to 30 points. 
that you guys can apply to an assignment. Uh, 